you guys i literally just recorded for like five minutes just talking to you guys and i wasn't recording anyways it's our anniversary saying it again Happy we just recorded this y'all it's We're our anniversary we're having our fancy dinner tonight. We're having hella fresh tonight, you guys. <laughs> like, yeah, I mean, it's, it's literally a five-star meal, let's be real. I still have my Christmas wreath up. Girl, somebody get her together. It's our wedding anniversary today. We are four years married. Listen, maybe we could plan something later, like another day, another one of these days where we actually go somewhere. My suegra's birthday was a few days ago, but we were at the warehouse and we were like, let's plan something with her today. But Raul got a little busy at the warehouse this morning. And today's actually like a day off for us. Um, we're taking a few days off just because we've been there. Now that all the work has been done, we were like, okay, before the next stock, we're gonna take a little bit off. And by a little bit, I mean like maybe a few days just to really like recuperate. And, and maybe me and you could plan something like one of these next yes. few days, like to actually do something for our anniversary. But honestly- well, We could plan something big. Something big. Like. I mean, it'd be fantastic if you could plant something. Can you imagine? A resort. Don't play with me, Raul. Because that would be iconic if we actually go on vacation somewhere. But Raul was like, so do you want to go to dinner? Like, what do you want to do today? And I was like, honestly, the movie in the bag is me. <laughs> I was like, you know what would be fantastic if we just stay home and did nothing? Like, just be home and be lazy. We haven't and just, ever, I mean, weeks. And just sit on the couch make some dinner watch a movie that sounds like a fantastic date to me we're now hungry so i popped out the hello fresh girl we're making hello fresh and i'm actually making like the fa my favorite one ever i love their burgers a lot but i also really like the bolognese meatballs is it called bolognese um bulgogi the meatballs with bulgogi sauce i'm sure you guys have seen us make this one before this is like up there on my top three of hello fresh when i saw this one i was like that's what we're making girl so we're gonna make some meatballs with bulgogi sauce and this video is sponsored by hello fresh so thank you hello fresh so much for sponsoring this video you already know i love you your food is delicious and i'm excited to eat if you don't know what hello fresh is where have you been girl hello fresh is america's number one meal kit service they deliver recipes to your door with everything you need to make these meals i'm talking every ingredient down to the measurements girl skip the checkout lines and get outside in the warmer weather because hello fresh has dinner covered hello fresh's pre-portioned ingredients cuts down on your food waste by at least 23 percent compared to grocery shopping which is good for your wallet and good for the planet also, what I love about HelloFresh is that they have so many different options. HelloFresh keeps your taste buds on their toes with 40 recipes and over 100 seasonal and convenience items to choose from each week. With so much variety, there are options for everyone and every lifestyle. And you're getting seasonal ingredients picked at peak ripeness for quality you can taste. Ingredients travel from the farm to your home in less than 7 days, so you know they're fresh. HelloFresh is so convenient because it cuts out so much prep time. That's my favorite part about this. I don't gotta go to the grocery store standing these long lines. Sometimes I just gotta get dinner on the table in 30 minutes and if everything's already prepped for me in a bag ready to go, that is so convenient to me and that's why I love HelloFresh. Look how delicious this meal looks. Let's grab. All right, you guys, our food go. is ready. Let's try it out. I look so crazy right now. So we've had this meal before, but this one is really good. Yeah, we've had it before, girl. Like this is like probably like for sure top three from mm -hmm. HelloFresh, my mouth's watering. Mm. Those meatballs always hit, girl, all the time. Mm -hmm. I look crazy, girl. And the meatballs, the ginger rice, the carrots, the sauce. The Bill Gogi sauce? Mm -hmm. And as always, HelloFresh does have an offer for you guys. Go to HelloFresh.com and use code 50 Karina for 50% off, plus your first box ships for free. That is, go to HelloFresh.com and use code 50 Karina for 50% off, plus your first box ships for free. This is literally our wedding anniversary, you guys. Cheers to... Four years of marriage years. and 10 years of dating, right? Wow, yeah. And two years of having- Parenthood. Y'all, yeah. we out here with Miss Jasmine Glitz. She's taking over the podcast today, guys. By the time you're watching this, um, I'm sure you guys know that Myra had her baby. Because uh, this is going up like much later in the week. Yeah, I'm sure she already posted it. But we are here in the studio, you guys. And Myra's on maternity leave. Myra's actually like literally at the hospital right now, recovering. I think she comes home like tomorrow. But Jasmine is here right now. By the time y'all are watching this, like Myra's already home and stuff, but say hey, girl. Today we're gonna do like a fun episode, just catching up, you know, like the week, usual stuff. I'm gonna ask her about like things that are in, like in my world, I guess, mm -hmm. like of millennials or what I see on my Twitter. Like for example, like 
I'm gonna ask her about like Peso Pluma and stuff because like he's like huge and I don't even think she knows who he is. And then Jasmine's gonna tell me what's in like in her world and then we're gonna give you guys advice and stuff. So if you guys haven't tuned in, this episode is out already. So make sure you guys go watch it because I'm sure it was hilarious. But here we are, girl. We got the cameras being set up. Ah, so exciting. Jasmine was a queen and went to go get me a venti matcha latte. What's good? What you get, girl? I got a damn pink drink. Mm -hmm. But I already devoured it. Like. Let me say you're going to tell us how to boss up, right? Yeah. So, okay. I'll ask those questions when I get there. Oh, the headphones. I'm and then you can lean on the table, kind of like this. Yeah. Yeah, you're kind of like facing me in a way. You're kind of like yes. this. So you can like you're bring your body straight. Right you so you're kind of like leaning into the mic when you're talking like, well, you know? Okay. And then I'm gonna do okay. it one more time. Scooch over this way. This way? So you're kind of more on the middle of the couch. Oh. I think move the pillows over so that you're not, there you go. Good. Yeah, cause you're more like, um, yeah. Like, what the hell? <laughs> I love bossing up. Like, what is the reason? Guys, we just filmed the podcast. It was actually really good. Actually Jasmine good. talks about how to boss up, you know. We bossed up today. Like, that's how you boss up. This is how you boss up, y'all. <laughs> boss up right there, like. Queen. All right, you guys. You know that it was our wedding anniversary. First of all, we're in a different car, y'all. That's a whole other story time for, like, after this. A freaking, like... Okay, so we were driving by a semi the other day. I was going to visit Myra at the hospital. And a rock flew on top of our, uh, like, our moon roof. Is that what it's called? And it shattered. Like, shattered to pieces, you guys. Luckily, it didn't break through. And the thing was, like, you know how it has this? It had this, but it was so thin. The, pa the little thing is so thin that they told us it was not safe to drive because it could literally collapse into the car. And that would literally be dangerous. I got so scared. I thought, like, I could. I didn't know if, like, one of our tires, like, completely popped. It was, like, such a loud noise. And I remember we looked around. Like, I was like, pull over, pull over. Like, I didn't know what was going on. It was so scary. But luckily, it was just a moonroof. I'm just so happy that it didn't hit the first like the windshield like the actual windshield because that would have been so scary but we are in a rental right now because our car is getting fixed right now um but yeah it's another day and i was like well we never did anything for our anniversary let's at least go out for breakfast somewhere and it's already 12 so we actually came to lunch at cheesecake factory so just the subtle things you know like the little things like coming to eat out to like a restaurant it's you know it's nice and we're celebrating our anniversary so and we might actually go shopping for a little bit after this so it's very like chill vibes hey yo hi mia hi mia <laughs> sheesh okay cheesecake factory you guys I love cheesecake we love her the bread is so good oh my gosh i don't think i've had cheesecake factory since my surgery so i'm gonna see how i do with the with the bread but that bread it hits different but shit is good brought your puppy mamas me about her little puppy she carries it everywhere Oh um, yeah. <laughs> you like your puppy? Me you wants to sit on your high chair? She's like, no, I don't want that high chair. You wanna go sit right there? Can you go sit in there? No. <laughs> of course. Por qué no, I, I don't know what to get here. I am able to eat like I'm able to enjoy food more guys. I'm now like seven months post op, but I still eat very little. But like I could kind of well I could technically share with you, but yeah, true. But you know what? You don't like sharing. I do. Nah. Okay. <laughs> I don't know what to get. Is it yummy? She didn't want water. I offered her water. Of course she didn't. She wants peach lemonade. She's definitely struggling. Right away she saw it. She's like, cool. cool. <laughs> Can I have some now? All right. Thank you. No. We literally forgot to show you guys the food, y'all. <laughs> Story of my life, dude. Just children. Just Rose taking children. My, my leftovers. <laughs> Caquitas. And then we're gonna go to the mall real quick. Yay! <laughs> Rose getting some clothes real quick because we're going to a wedding in Mexico this weekend. Well, not for the wedding, just like for other days. Just like the like other activities, right? Just kind of like wow. other days, not the wedding, obviously. We have our outfits for that. I just got some random stuff too because I don't know what I'm wearing on the other days. Quieres que te quede o te queda apretada? It looks like it fits to me. There's a mirror right there, yeah. We got the stuff, we got the Wetzel's pretzel. We got the goods. And even uh, a frozen, frozen horchata, horchata girl. A Wetzel's pretzel, that's new. 
and now we're going home. I also want to show you guys Raul's birthday because I didn't get to show you guys what we did. I actually ended up making him pozole like for the first time ever, y'all. I had never made pozole before, so I thought I could show you guys that real quick. I never got that vlog up. <laughs> I feel like this vlog is literally Raul's birthday, our anniversary, and the Jasmine takeover on the podcast. So let's jump into Raul's birthday. Can you see the time? <laughs> you love me. <laughs> Guys, I'm making pozole today for the first time in my life. I'm so scared. Raul's birthday was on Friday. Ah, you sneeze. <laughs> I look like crap today, y'all, but I just got back from the store right now. I went to go get things to make pozole. I'm making pozole for the first time ever, like, in my whole life, y'all. My mom's gonna teach me how to make it. So, like, I know it's gonna come out good because my mom's walking me through the process. But I just really wanted to learn because I was like, I want to make the pozole for Raul's birthday. Because his birthday was on Friday, but we were at the warehouse. We were there yesterday, too. We were really close to going today, too, girl. But we were like, no, we need to take a day off and, like, actually celebrate. So, today, I'm gonna make pozole. His parents are coming over. Like, all my in-laws are coming over. My cuñada, everybody. And I'm so nervous. But I was like, I want to be able to say, like, I actually made this birthday dinner for my husband, girl. Girl, I'm nervous, but it is what it is. So in here, we're barely getting started. We washed the meat. So we got, since it's a lot of us, it's going to be like 18 of us, guys. So I got, eran ocho libras de trocitos de puerco, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. So eight pounds of trocitos and four pounds of, ¿cuál era el otro más? Four pounds of spinazo de puerco. So because it has bones, it just gives it some flavor. So we got four of those, four pounds of those, and eight pounds of trocitos. And we went ahead and washed the meat. We added water to our pot about this much, you guys. It's really hard to measure, but we just wanted enough so that when you add, like, the, the granos, like, it's good. So we got our water and our meat uncooked right now. Dijiste que le ponga una cebolla cortada a la mitad, ¿verdad? Aquí. So I'm gonna put my onion, guys. This is me making this for the first time ever. Oh my gosh, send help. ¿Y cuántas de laurel? Un pan. Oh, so cuatro hojas de laurel, okay. I really wanna learn, y'all, cause like this is my first time making it. Like if I if I actually like do it, I'm like, maybe I'll just learn and probably, it's probably easier than I thought it was. In goes the laurel. And then, y dos cucharadas de consomme. Wish me luck, y'all, because I'm really, like, doing this. My mom was like, do you want me to just, like, do you want me to just make it and have you watch me? I was like, no, I want to actually make it. Two big-ass spoons, my mom said. Y ya le echas más al rato, ¿verdad? Si ves que... Okay, now we're going to transfer it over here to the stove top. Having my dad come in, because... Ay, cuidado que está bien pesado. Okay. Okay. I'm scared, y'all. It's happening. She's making pozole. Y'all, I'm a whole ass housewife. What's up? So my mom's gonna go pick up Jasmine right now, so I'm left alone. But now we have the pot on the stove top. I think for now, no se cose before you even add like the chile and stuff. So I'm just gonna leave it on high. So far, very, very easy. I'm kind of shocked, girl. I know some people make the granos like by scratch. Um, it will not be me. I got this one, girl. And even my mom be using this shit. So I'm like, you know what? Ain't nobody got time to make this shit by scratch. I would have had to start it yesterday, girl. My suegra makes the granos like literally like overnight. Like she does the whole thing. And I, it can't be me, girl. I'm barely learning how to make it, so I'm gonna use these. Okay, guys, so it's been boiling now for... ¿Cuánto duró esto? Maybe like an hour or so, guys. Really just wanted to get it to a boil, and now I'm taking all the... Like, the dirt. Not dirt, but like, on. you'll notice when you make this, that like, on top it collects, like, you know, that stuff. First things first, I gotta rinse these. <coughs> a nice big cuchara of consomme. ¿Y crees que lo pruebo otra vez más? I counted them for y'all, and it was actually exactly 35 chiles guajillos in this pot, and just filling enough water to cover them up because we're gonna boil them and just really, you know, get these saturated. And this is still going on medium high. I added more consomme, you guys, because it was like not tasting like anything. So y'all know how it is, girl. If you just know that it doesn't taste enough, like just keep adding more, you know? Okay, y'all, so they sat there boiling until they got soft, basically. So my mom says once they're soft, 
then now I have to like let them just sit here until it cools down so I'm really just gonna let them just sit here and kind of just like sit in the juice and marinate I guess I don't know but my dad's helping me cut rabanos in. So six already. Okay, let's have cinco dientes. Pues deja como esto. Cinco. Seis. Oh. Okay. Y una cosita. Va one tablespoon of this. Y también igual de esta. Llena. Un poquito menos de lo que va a ser porque es más fuerte. Tengo que hacer. Ya. Me voy a echar una cucharadita porque luego no sabe bueno. Pues a ver qué me eché también allá. Then we lost the top thing, but. Put your hand over. I'm just gonna clog it with my hand. I'm just kidding. Let's make one. All right, guys, we got all the chili in here now. I went ahead and did the other half. I threw away like the little grainy stuff at the end. Now I'm just giving it a little mix. Okay, y'all, I actually went ahead and got ready real quick. This nose contour is a little harsh, ain't it, girl? What's it? I went ahead and got ready pretty quickly because I was like, you know what? I got ready and maybe like, well, to me, it's fast. Like in 30 minutes? Very like simple vibes, but also just like put together. It's gonna be very chill. We're just having pozole. I'm having my suegros come over and my cuñada and stuff. I believe Luis and Marisol are coming and Myra's coming, of course, too and stuff. And we're just all gonna celebrate Rose's birthday with some pozole and some cake. The pozole is still boiling, y'all, but it looks pretty good. I mean, it looks legit. Like if honestly, like I feel like it's something my mom would make. So, I mean, she did walk me through it. So I'm hoping it's good. I'm going to try it right now and see if it needs more salt. Wow, this is legit. Is that hot? So spicy. I mean hot. Do you think it tastes good? Mm -hmm. That's so crazy. I really did it, y'all. Like I really did that. I know that y'all professional cooks out there are going to be like, well, so it's not even that hard. I know it's not, girl. I know it's not, but I'm really proud of myself because I've never made it. And it came out pretty good. Mm. Okay, y'all. I had to improvise. I had found a two and an eight. I feel like it was for my last birthday. It's 28, you know. But I was like, we need a 32, girl. So I took the eight. I cut it out and made it into a three, and now we're good. We got a three and a two. 32 for the cake, period. Birthday to you. <laughs> Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Okay, go. Yeah. Now the mamas. Do you feel like oh my god? Clean up, clay by clay. Clean up, clay. Mia, where are you? Look at this. Corriendo con el plato. Mia, he's dropping it. No, Mia.